What up, fellow nerds? Welcome back to Not Your Status Quo, and we are going to get right into the in focus on a couple characters that might appear on uh, WandaVision. Going to get started with Simon Williams, Wonder Man. Simon Williams is the son of a rich indu industrialist who inherits his father's munitions factory after his death. His family fails due to direct competition with Stark Industries. Baron Zemo then pr proposes uh, revenge on Stark and Williams agrees and is transformed into an ion powered uh, being with superhuman powers. The plan is to infiltrate the Avengers and be betray them in a critical moment so Zemo can destroy them. The his powers include flight, immortality, um, superhuman strength, speed, agility, stamina, and reflexes, um, enhanced vision and hearing, healing factor, ionic energy manipulation, electromagnetic manipulation, uh, size alteration, just like, you know, like Ant-Man, um, shape shifting and teleportation. Now he has battled Mephisto and the Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper being his brother. So you can see a little tie in there. Uh, after a battle with the Kree, he, he got disintegrated, but months later, he is ac accidentally resurrected by the Scarlet Witch. Another tie-in in, ion in ionic form. At that point, he appears um, when she is in need, uh, just like a voice for her. But later, the Scarlet Witch fully revives Wonder Man into human form. But it's discovered later that um, the Grim Reaper is also revived from the dead at that point as well. And we'll get into that a little bit more a little bit later. And in the comics, Wonder Man's uh, brainwaves are used to create vision. At one point, Wanda asks Simon to help resurrect Vision, but he won't do it because he has feelings for her. Another side note, um, DC sued Marvel at the time for the name Wonder Man because they had Wonder Woman. But then later on, DC created Power Girl and Marvel already had Power Man. So they just went ahead and proceeded with the character. And his uh, from the time of his inception in 1964 to when he became a regular uh, character in the Avengers was 1977, so it must have been a long court deal. But hey, you guys got anything to add to that? One of the great things about Wonder Man as a character is he was recruited by Zemo, which could possibly happen post WandaVision. Maybe we he's introduced here, something happens to Eric Williams in WandaVision, so he seeks out Zemo to get powered up to possibly get revenge on the Avengers. We don't know yet, but that's a possibility. But the one thing that Wonder Man did, once he found out who Tony Stark, Iron Man, and the Avengers, what they were really about, he turned on Zemo and ended up fighting the Masters of Evil, even though Zemo had told him if he doesn't give him this antidote, he'll die without it. So he was willing to die to do the right thing at that time. So I think that could be a very interesting way they handle this character. You know, if Wanda powers him up in the show, if he shows up, you know, it could be very interesting that he owes her something and maybe he turns on her at some point if she does take a dark turn like the darker and scarlet uh, storyline from West Coast Avengers. So there's really a lot they can do. The fact that Vision was destroyed and may have to be recreated Maybe the recreation is more Marvel, you know, Marvel Comics canon, where they use Simon Williams' brainwaves to bring him back. So they have that connection again. Because in the comics, they've always felt like they were brothers. So we could see that in the MCU. Maybe if they do it, Vision comes back, he no longer has an infinity stone as part of his head, just a solar gem like he does in the comics. And maybe he has Simon Williams' brain patterns. You know, we don't know what's going to happen, but that's something that could possibly happen during this, you know, during this season of WandaVision. I think you guys really hit the nail on the head and you pretty much mentioned, I think everything that's worth saying, there is just uh, one more thing that I want to kind of tack on to what Keith was talking about when he mentioned uh, the whole uh, Baron, Baron Zemo connection. Um, I have a feeling that uh, based on the way that the MCU storyline has gone so far, I think there might actually be a little bit more to that than, uh, you know, than we, than we know, because we, we know that, in the MCU, at least, that Wanda and her brother Pietro, they're, they're the results of experiments from Baron Zemo, you know, using the Infinity Stones, which is what gave them their powers in the MCU. So it wouldn't be um, too out of the ordinary 
to, you know, see him having done this uh, to other people, you know, experimenting on other people in the MCU. I can't imagine that, you know, um, Wanda and Pietro were the only ones that Hydra had maybe um, experimented with. And we've seen a lot of uh, sort of hints at Hydra throughout WandaVision. So I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, if we maybe saw that connection sooner rather than later showing up in WandaVision. And one more thing about Wonder Man is he has had an array of costumes in the comics. You know, there was his initial kind of green one and then he went kind of multicolored. At one point he even just kind of wore a red sport jacket and slacks. Please do not make this the costume for the MCU if he does come in. You know, his current one is kind of black with the red M on his chest. I certainly go that route. But man, he has had some bad, bad costumes in the comics. And I hope we don't see them in the MCU at all. And the second character we're going to go over is Eric Williams or AKA the Grim Reaper. And we already have seen a few hints of the Grim Reaper in this show. If, um, you look between the floors when they pan up uh, during a scene um, in the last show, there's uh, the Grim Reaper's helmet. So anyway, so <clears throat> Eric Williams is the, the brother of Simon Williams, Wonder Man. He's considered the black sheep of his family though, and he was not shown much affection growing up. In fact, his mother um, praised Simon constantly and his father constantly drove him down. So this is how we got the uh, opposite ends of the spectrum, but they're still brothers. They still have that connection. Um, at one point, the Grim Reaper captured both Vision and Wonder Man because of Vision possess possessing Wonder Man's brainwaves to determine which was his true brother. And during that confrontation, Wonder Man won again. Uh, obviously, his brother is Wonder Man. Originally, he wielded uh, a techno scythe uh, created by the Tinkerer. And that could spin at rapid speed, fire electric, electromagnetic power blasts and um, anesthetic gas pellets. This, it can also dispense stun shocks on touch. Uh, it can induce and then revive comas. Um, when resurrected as a zombie, because the Grim Reaper in the comics has been killed and resurrected many times. And when he was resurrected as a zombie, he used the scythe in order to absorb human life forces. Later, he gained uh, magically related abilities such as reanimation of the dead, uh, teleportation himself and others, uh, summoning demons, uh, creating illusions and clairvoyance. So he received these abilities through uh, training with Black Talon or powers bestowed upon him um, by Loigaroth. I, th I believe that's how you say it. But, you know, again, back to you guys. What do you think? One of the main reasons that, you know, the Grim Reaper, Eric Williams, had such a problem with Vision is because Simon, you know, always took him as his brother and actually liked him and had a better relationship with him. And Eric always thought that was intruding on them being brothers. So it was always, you know, him going after the Vision and trying to do it. And, you know, we haven't had that in the MCU yet. So how could Grim Reaper factor in? to WandaVision. Well, a very interesting, you know, thing I was thinking about with S.W.O.R.D. being outside and all this power on display in this pocket reality, obviously it's going to draw more than just S.W.O.R.D. I really think, because there's been times in the comics when the Grim Reaper, who's kind of a mercenary at times, has worked for AIM, has worked for HYDRA, and maybe this is them hiring him to get in there and try to get after it. So he doesn't have that, you know, distrust of the vision just yet, but if they do that, you know, recreate vision with Simon Williams' brain patterns at some point. That's where we could get kind of the more Marvel Comics canon and introduce the Grim Reaper before all that happened. So, you know, there's been some Easter eggs for the Grim Reaper. We hope we see them. We don't know if it's just them nodding to the comics or nodding, you know, as a, a foreshadowing for future episodes, but we'll find out soon enough. So there's the background on those two characters. They might pop, pop up in WandaVision. They might not. They have been, uh, referred to so that's why we think that it could be going in this direction so if you made it this far well go ahead and like and subscribe comment below if you have any any thoughts uh on what we're saying here and until then we'll see you next time